what is a favourite to say back in the reaction video. So we've actually got somebody else with us today. Name yourself. Wait, wait, what? I'm Veej. Hi. And she doesn't actually listen to rap music? Nope. <laughs> at all? Nope. Have you heard of Hopsin? Nope. <laughs> We're going to be reacting to Hops in Your House, which literally just came out yesterday, I think. Yeah. And I'm so excited because how long has it been since he's made his last song? I'm pretty sure his last one was like pandemic song that he did like last year. And I've heard he's had some problems with mental health and stuff. I don't actually know a lot about his backstory, but I'm excited to be listening to this song. Let's get into it. Okay. What do you think it's going to be about? Literally just from the start of that. So they've done a crime. Okay. So obviously none of those people were hops in. I don't know if he's using different actors to present him. But it looks like obviously the, the, the guy's the one that's getting arrested. So it's clearly he's done something wrong to this woman. I was born inside of this shit, my fucking parents scrapping. I was mortified as a kid. Poly so that must be. So that's him. Okay, that's Hopson. Right. Okay, I got it. So obviously that kid so that must is Hopson and it's yeah, kind of presenting telling his, his life. Story, yeah. Okay. I was born inside of this shit, my fucking parents scrapping. I was mortified as a kid. Police always at my house, all because of my daddy's temper. Man, this shit been going on about as long as I can remember. He'd always blame my mom for the shit he didn't accomplish. I'd hide in the corner like a guinea pig in the process, just knowing he about to smack the fucking teeth out of mouth. It's like when it came to some type of drama, he got aroused. No, I feel like I'm already gonna cry in this song. I think, yeah. It's a proper deep <laughs> So clearly his dad is an abusive dad. Yeah. The start of it's kind of presenting like what it what is gonna happen in the future. React to the either one of Sabrina Carpenter's song about driver's license. So clearly his dad's an abusive dad and the intro of the thing is kind of showing what's gonna happen in the future with him getting arrested. Because he's literally talking about how every time there was some sort of something going wrong, his dad got aroused by it, as in like he, he got excited from wanting to beat him up. Smack the fucking teeth out of mouth. It's like when it came to some type of drama, he got aroused. No joke. There was the moments where dad would slowly be creeping up. I would jump in front of my mama. Please don't beat her up. I ain't never spoken this shit. The memories are up. Smiles and hugs is just something you'll never see in us. You know the pain when your parents tell you to go and play. Then hours later, you see your mama. She got a swollen face. I hope you don't relate. I just learned how to cope today from the days when I would pick up the phone and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same right. The childhood is like a massive, massive part of what's going to happen when somebody grows up. Mm. So for him to say like hugs and kisses weren't a thing back in my childhood, it's just obviously, kind of show, yeah, that he didn't have a very like happy and fun childhood as most children do. If yeah, that makes sense. and obviously he's going to then grow up to mm. not hug and kiss his children and not like have a good relationship with his yeah, cause he wife. Yeah, because he's up in a different way to most people. Yeah. Leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going back and forth for a night. I want to stay at your house tonight. Because I don't want to hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I want to stay at your house tonight. I would go to school feeling so frightened, yeah, I was scared Not knowing if I'ma go home finding my mama dead Every other fucking day there was always losing control He was acting like a fucking they running loose in our home Man. What I actually love about this song is it's not like new rap songs yeah. nowadays You know, even like Eminem, he, is, he doesn't do music like this anymore It's almost like an old style And I love that about Hopson because why is old rap not a thing anymore? And I and, love storytelling songs. Yeah, and this is just like shows, like this happens a lot in people's houses nowadays and 
it's just showing his story which will help other people if that makes sense they there was always losing control he was acting like a fucking they running loose in our home man ever since i was born they was pessimistic and torn it's evident but regardless they never get a divorce god i wish they got around and just checking into some counseling we could have been a happy family inside our house again i said again as if we ever were that's false shit i dealt with growing up will forever hurt i'm lost we were nothing like the families i used to I was actually thinking that when it first started, maybe it's his dad that's the problem and then he's really close with his mum because usually that can be the case as well. Yeah. You know where like the dad's the issue in the house and once he's gone, you and your mum can have like a happy family. But then it's just shown there that even his mum was kind of beating him a little bit, like like slapping him and stuff. But also maybe the hurt she's feeling inside, she's kind of like producing that to someone else. Like she's trying to get a hurt out in another way. So she's probably bottling it up and then she's just kind of like, I guess, it. but I think it's just kind of showing that in general his family isn't a very happy yeah. family at all. They don't care about having a family. Shit I dealt with growing up will forever hurt. I'm lost. We were nothing like the families I used to see on the sitcom. We were horrible with moms. I can no longer sitcom. I would see that my friends had a life at home that was peaceful. They were lovable people who didn't function like we do. Well, how I wish I could redo the pain in the wicked days. When I pick up the telephone, call a friend. I ain't placing the blame, saying it's mom and dad's fault. But all those traumas I had stuck with me as an adult. He literally said there, look. All these traumas that I experienced, they've stuck with me as an adult. Like what I was saying in the past about these childhood things kind of imprinting on you in the future and how you're gonna have your for how you're gonna form your relationships. But then he said, I'm not blaming my parents. When technically it mm. kind of is their fault for the way they've treated him and for the way they've acted with him. Ignited these mad thoughts that I seem to have often. Yeah, that's Hobson. Music is where my last straw went. Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life. The love I never felt growing up, I get it from you guys. Please don't get it twisted. I love both my parents to death. I just think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect. We all got these traumas we carry and sometimes it's scary because we bury the nest right there in our chest and we subconsciously air and project the nightmares and the stress that we dealt with when we we're younger and that's why therapy's best listen if you got kids if oh well, let me just rewind that because it went a bit fast because we buried the nest right there in our chest and we subconsciously air and project the nightmares and the stress that we dealt with when we were younger and that's why therapy's best listen if you got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them children follow the protocol of the parents blueprint so when there's an issue they might handle it just how you did He's, he's literally just admitted it straight there. He said, children are literally forming the same things that their parents did, their parents' blueprint. So if you're experiencing this, try to change it. Don't let that happen to your yeah. children as well. Protocol of the parents' blueprint. So when there's an issue, they might handle it just how you did. I gotta leave here now. Oh. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going no. back and forth. It's exactly what I said. Have yeah. you noticed what's happened there? It's just reciprocated. It's just, it's carried on. So his parents, obviously, he's grown up now. He's done the exact same things that his dad used to do. She's crying. He's probably beating her up. It's literally just shown that he has followed his dad's footsteps. And it's just showed that his hurt and his trauma has just, like, gone, yeah. gone crazy. Oh. I want to stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't want to hear my dad fight mama no more. I don't want to hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I want to stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight. It's literally exactly what I said was going to happen. That's what I feel. I don't know if I don't know if he's kind of trying to say that's his life, but then again he hasn't been arrested for. But he had issues with his his old girlfriend, and she won't let him see his kid again. Yeah. So maybe maybe that was the case. Maybe he did do something that he regrets now, and he's talking about it because of what his past used to be like. So maybe it is yeah. reflecting his life. <laughs> family's just being broken up. Well, that's just sad really, isn't it?
Tschüss. Weil so sei. Anyway, so I kind of feel like it's just reflecting his life. Hops in for a comeback. This is a song. Yeah. This is a song for a comeback. It for him so to be deep. gone that long yeah. and then just like pull out with that. That is mad. It was so deep and just like. Wow. What do you think of Hopsy now? I actually like. I liked it. Sound a bit more enthusiastic. Yeah. Fugiastic. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> would you listen um, to him again? I would listen to him again. Yeah. Um. I liked it. It was just so deep, and I loved the storyline to it. Like, like showed his story, and it just made me feel like sad. And I, I'm definitely gonna listen to his songs again because like. Wow, like that was amazing. So that is it for today's reaction video, guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. I think you should subscribe. <laughs> Comment another song that you want me to react to in the future. But that is it. Bye. Bye.